Hello, hello, and welcome. I'm Nick, and welcome to another late night drive stream. Now is when it begins. I don't, mentally, I was not ready to go live. Am I being heard this time? Excellent. Um, Y'all in for a treat tonight. Uh, normally, I do late night drive. I do um, BMNG because I like it. I love it. It's great. Um, uh, tonight's different. <laughs> tonight's different enough because I had to make a custom, uh, I did this. Because <laughs> we're playing this. <laughs> oh, let me, uh, let me, I should be able to get a little more chat on screen if I do this. There we go. How's that? I can live with that. Um, so, <laughs> I had to, this is what I was working on yesterday, no, you're down here now, uh, to get all of this to work, um, I turn left, you turn, okay, that's a workout, um, and I mapped all the controls, so this should be playable, let's start with that, it should be playable, um, Desktop audio is missing. Right. I muted that because I didn't want to blow anybody's ears out. Um, how's that? That's a little hot. Maybe that's uh, how about a little bit less. This this game, this, this music really aggressive. Okay. Um, so here's my thing. Uh, this is a game. This is an N64 game. Uh, if you, if uh, that should be why the, the racing wheel is a little, um, a little bit of a standout as to, to be odd in this situation. Um, I love F-Zero. I love F-Zero X the most. All F-Zeros are good. All F-Zeros are special and blessed. Um, and this, for for a long time, like most of, let, let's call it middle school, because by the time I was in high school, Burnout 3 came out. But before that, my big game was F-Zero X. This is the game I would stay up late nights to play over and over again, just mind empty. Um, <laughs> no, late night drive is what I do. Um, last time we got burgers, this time we're... <sighs> okay. Let's, let's start with a time attack. Um, let's see here. I, I have that queued up if this ends. Um, in fact, I have I have gone ahead and made different. Um, depending on which game I'm playing, I can just switch back and forth. Um, no, that was the that was the funnest part of this for me was setting up these scenes. Um, let's just play normally to see if I can. All right, um, let's play without ghosts. I don't I don't need that. Uh, once again. Real car of zero, yeah. Um, I kind of want a, a drop top convertible, you know. Um, well, because there is the one I can't select it, but uh, yeah, I, I can't go down and select it. But the the one down there that looks like just like a, a Ferrari or something, uh, and to make it match, blue and blue. For for this layout. I did have to boot up F Zero GX, and I took the model from that one, which is why this car looks cleaner than the one in the game. Um, we can go faster than that. Let's go like that fast. Okay. Let's do some time attacks. I was testing it yesterday, so can I beat 126? No internal view on this one, unfortunately. The music in this game is so good. There's a real dead zone in the middle of the wheel that I can't seem to do anything about, but... I got boost power. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. It 
does get a little wonky because I am converting analog input into button input, and I can't tell if it's particularly accepting of that. Um, but working so far, I have no idea if, if 126 is a good time, in generally speaking. What's Twin Galaxies have to say about Mute City on the N64? Yeah, you can see that the exhaust keeps kicking in a way that's saying, like, it's losing my input. Nope. Oh. Actually, three seconds shorter. Oh. I bet, you, I bet you it was that slide at the beginning. Alright. Um... <laughs> it's not something I check. I'm, I'm not big into, like, speedrunning community drama, anything, but, uh, all right, let's try, I'm going to call that successful enough, let's, let's do, let's do the full course, fire stingray, um, I want a bit less. Let's go... I think that was my problem. I wasn't getting up to speed. Okay. Full throttle. Bleeding eyes. Racing action. Look at how many cars they put on screen! This game's incredible! Going for the hits, I don't have to. I got boost power. Oh, hey, Cap. You know what my secret is, Cap? I'm always about to fall off the road. I can't catch up to him! I have to stop trying to catch up to him with boost and start catching up to him with uh, apex hunting. See if I take the inside. But then he's going to hit that, isn't he? Nah, he's got this. That was the, that was the last apex. Mm. If we just stay. If we just stay. <gasps> Listen, okay, at, at this point, I don't care if this is fun to watch. I'm having fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, gosh. Golly gee. <laughs> Listen, if I get the chance, I am going to blow up Captain Falcon. I'm, I'm some sort of, um... That's true, he did get thrown into the volcano last week. Topical? No, oh, and then it's left, and then it's forward again, and then it's right, and then it's left, and then it's forwards. Okay. And then it's energy. No, then it's tunnel. Then it's energy. I got boost power. Oh, I hit him. 
Oh, he's blinking. Cap's blinking. Oh, it's final lap already. All right. Let's not mess up here. I'm messing up here. I just want to go. I just want to go. I just want to go. Y'all ever see red line? Just gotta go fast. Whew. Oh, this feels good. How's everything look? How's everything sound? Looks good. Sounds good. We're playing F Zero. Of course, it's good. Wait, which one is this? Okay, Sand Ocean is pipe. Pipe is the one that you're inside, which means you're not going to necessarily fly off, but you still want some modicum of speed, so I'm going to set it there. Now, everybody else is going to leave me behind, but hopefully I'm going to make up for it with... See, if you stay on the inside wall, technically you're taking a shorter path. Oh, God. Uh, motion sickness warning. Yeah. Oh, someone just died. I boosted into the pipe. That's that Weezer song, right? <laughs> no, I'm way out in front. Captain! <gasps> it's fine. I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. Don't touch anything! Ugh. Here's the thing. Any racing game worth its salt? Um, uh, there is such a thing as too fast. I'm good. I'm good. The F stands for... Oh, jeez! F W H O O, I guess. Devil's Force Corkscrew. Okay, Corkscrew is a flat track that spins this way as you're going forwards, so you don't actually have to worry about it. I believe. I need a little more than I had last time. This fourth one in. That seems to make sense. Yeah, this is the stuff. BQE ain't got nothing on this. It's Black Bull. Captain Falcon's worst enemy. Until I came on the scene. Don't touch anyone.
want to hit him so hard. <laughs> Fine. Fine, it's fine. Oh. Yeah, no, the the top of the rankings are pretty well. Hey, Beastman's here from so he's on vacation from Soul Calibur. That's Lizard Man. Uh, I messed up. I have to turn in my card. This is Cylinder. This is the good one. Most of them are good ones. It's fine. <laughs> oh, you want to do this, Cap? You want to do this here and now? You're back, announcer guy. <laughs> the Soul Calibur Ombudsman, you know they have to exist. We live on the internet. This one might kill me. So, okay. In this game, when you are airborne, you can tilt forward and back on the stick in order to adjust your pitch. Um, here's a problem. This is not a flight yolk. It does not have an in now, so I did not do pitch. I considered hooking up a second joystick over here. No, it has to be... This hand is on the acceler the accelerometer. Nope, it's an accelerator. So I'd have to put a second flight stick over here in order to have right-handed control. Pit. I could do that. No, too much work to dig out the joystick right now. Mm, but what if I get it? The names are so good. I like Mr. EAD. Don't know what his deal is. Um, yeah, what if, though? Well... No, because what if, though, is that once I pull it out, that I'm also doing the same thing to play Rocket League with the wheel and the stick. Because then the stick is all of the aerial movements, and the wheel is all the ground movements. No, because I, I was already thinking about that control scheme, and I would need the... the uh... Oh, this is bad. I would need the... Um... Pedals for that as well. And I don't know if I have a pair of pedals to hook up right now. Fine. Oh yeah, I'm spending too much time in the air. I'm losing so much velocity on that. I 
don't know if anybody can catch up to me, though. not oh oh okay never mind i don't know where the other buttons are mapped currently it's okay i have boost power hey i finally made it through without touching okay i actually have a decent chance now Okay, now these. And that, 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 that. I need to land and like immediately boost to the end. <laughs> what if though it's in second? Yeah, no, what if though it's, it's in like the, the second to last tier of, of cars? That's That's where that racer lives. Oh, Th this is my my category for a, a video game trivia podcast is name as many um, F zero pilot names as you can, and one of the GBA ones is all anime, is all unique characters. So th th memorizing that one's really how you get there. Okay, here's the problem. I, I, I got one, but this one's cereal, so we won't be using that one tonight. Why do I even still have that? There's one. Oh, you asked for it. Now it's going to happen. You know, this is what you get. You gotta... You... This is where we're at now. You happy? You're happy. I know you're happy. Give the folks what they want, which is... Be happy. Oh. <sighs> okay. That little amount of work shouldn't have made me sweat. Okay. So... Okay. Oh, thank you. It was designed uh, in association with y'all. I'm still waiting for the, the next batch of cards to come in. Uh, button? There we go. Okay. 
Can't believe you made me dig this out. I keep trying to get out, and they keep pulling me back in. Oh, this one isn't, this isn't an ambidextrous one. This is going to feel weird on the left hand, but you know what? That's good enough. Okay. It recognized it and pissed off everything. Let me go into the menu. Um, what's this? All right. So how do I set up a controller? Wait, I can't set up two controllers to hybridize into one port, can I? I need a young priest and an old priest. And hopefully the young priest will know some things about RetroArch. Um, settings. Input. Port one is this, okay. Can I say left analog up is this? No. Hmm. Oh, I bet I could do it by... If I went and like, I wonder if I could do it by editing like a config I and I directly and just like their front end editor the, didn't expect me to do some nonsense like this. Um, well, now I have it out, so I'll have to figure it out by the next stream. Actually, that's that's like three, four, five, six, seven more buttons, two, three more ax, sorry, four more axes and another hat. I can. I could play Euro Truck. <laughs> this will be my H shifter. Okay. Um, okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to do something dumb instead. Okay, hang on. Port 3, uh, please don't use this. Port 2, uh, please don't use this. Port 1, you're using this. Good. Here's this dumb thing I'm going to do. I'm going to bring up Joy to Key. Uh, I'm going to have Joy to Key run. Joy to Key is upset because it is a very old version of Joy to Key. Okay. Um, thank you for using Joy to Key. Please consider purchasing. Oh. Can be used for free. Accessibility. Okay. Um, so. What joystick do we think this is? This is joystick two. The gamepad over there is joystick one. Uh, please show me a third joystick. Joystick three. This is joystick three. So stick one up is going to go to up. And stick one down is going to go to down. Okay, now in RetroArch, I know this is the content y'all love love to, to be getting here. Um, in RetroArch, input port one. This will now fire the keyboard. So when I say stick up and press up, it sees keyboard up. That's good enough. Up and down. Good. I've got it. You need to see the game again. Okay. How we doing? How we feeling? Welcome back from the intermission. Uh, I've got this over here now. Uh, let's give it... Give it one more time attack on that last track that gave us trouble. I just want to see if it works. I just want to know. 
I just want to see if this stupid is working. Off to a great start. Ah. I was so sure that, that there was a break in this game, but it's not going. Eh, if I'm breaking, I'm doing it wrong. Okay, line this up. Yep, that's what you need. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Dumb. So dumb. Stupid. I Second joystick just for that purpose. It may be stupid, but I'm not upset. How about that? Is that fine? Is that understandable? I could, I could do this with more. Oh, yeah, and look at how much speed we pick up. Look at how much sooner we get back down to the ground. It's not going to be a great time because I am hitting off of, like, every wall. Because I keep hitting that boost. But if I hit that boost, I can't make this. That was better. And then here, and lean. Oh, I got to go get Wipeout. Oh, somebody remind me to get wipe out for a future week. Okay, and oh, oh no! I dead. I need, um, okay, maybe I, maybe I also need to set up a soundboard next. Maybe I need to map it to one of these buttons. Hmm. I just, uh, yeah, no, just make a, a flight stick. That's my soundboard. That's dumb. I like that. Yeah, no, because then when you do the handle twist, that can be the pitch, um, alteration. Um, I, I need the noise when you lose in Street Fighter 2 and he just goes, Ugh! Um, is what I need. <laughs> this is silly. This is dumb. Oh, I'm happy. Okay. Here's the thing, though. I'm happy. All right. Uh, theoretically, it works, but it's dangerous. This is a danger to myself and others. Um, let's do a death race, though. If I'm going to be danger to myself and others... Let's call that the win condition. Okay. This is what I would do as a youngin staying up late. One. Two. It's just a, like a, it's not even a Mobius strip. It's just a, it's just a loop. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, that guy was two dudes. It's true. That was a twofer. I also love that you can do a spin attack for no good reason. Like, the, inf the input for it is so finicky, and it lets you hit somebody, like, directly in front of you, I think? But in a way that actually, like, hits them with the least force and is least likely to... Or, like, we'll do the least damage? I don't know what it's about. All right, there goes James McCloud, Fox McCloud's father. Paradox occurs. Star Fox can no longer happen. We're upside down, so he left up. I love that. I love when that happens. 
I love when you kill a dude, but you're upside down, so he go up. See, the problem is I pass too much of the pack, so now I'm behind him? There's somebody. Ah, there was two peoples. No, you need to keep speed here because it's a jump. Oh, hey, hey, fellas. Oh, say goodbye to that cat boy. Ah, da, 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 da. Yeah. Did you see what I mean? Okay. Oh, there's still 14 left. I forget if that includes me or not. All right. Ugh. Oh, here we go. This is a pack. He's behind me. I let him fall behind me. I will never see him again. Oh, hey, Cap. Ah. Oh, hey, Cap. Or is this one the Cap Boy? At least one of the other racers is a Cat Boy. But like a, a feral one, you know? Uh, here's an old man. Uh, this guy. Who's this guy? I forget who this guy is, but he's gone now. I'm gone now! I'm gone now. This one I'll get. This one I'll get. Uh, just in case anybody's, uh... Maybe a little bored of F-Hero already. Uh, I want to at least... He survived! Old Bull is so fat. How fat is he? When he sits... Uh, I want to at least do this. I want to at least do the Death Race. There's one more thing I want to do in here. If I can remember how to unlock it. Um... <laughs> uh, but then I figure for the, the second half of the show or whatever's left of the show after I do those um, I'll, I'll, I have some other BeamNG plans that I might have some time for and if we don't have time to finish it I'll consider it a preview Get off! Uh, that one was a lady superhero. Jimmy. Falco's not here anymore. No, I get I guess it'd be Peppy? It'd be Peppy. Peppy was the one who served with Fox's father, right? Listen, I'm all about deep Star Fox lore. Like how according to the cover of the original Star Fox, they cut their legs off. Uh, at the knee and replace them with robot legs so that that way the blood stays in the upper half of their torso and they don't uh, uh, white out from pulling severe G's. You know, Star Fox! Uh, oh, I have a button for that. So I just gotta let him come to you, you know? 
could have swore that was a break. Okay, he basically hit me. That car came at me with a knife. You all saw it. Top 10, baby. Let's do this. Let's go Mets. I don't even know if the Mets are good anymore. When I was young, uh, we lived um, in the city. And we lived right on the, the 7 train line. Like, literally a, a subway stop for it was on the corner of my block. Uh, and if you want to get to Shea Stadium, you just take the 7 train to the end. It just go one side is is uh, Times Square and and Grand Central, uh, and the other side is freaking Shea Stadium. So, like, like, I never cared about sports, but I cared about the Mets because they were right there. Because I knew how to get there when I was, like, four years old. And I was like, oh, yeah, the ones I know, which is, you know, I think how most people... Uh, pick their favorite sports teams. Touch them! Oh! Uh, that man was a turtle that I just killed. Uh, family supported the Mets not because he wanted them to win, but because they weren't the Yankees. Yeah! Yeah, that's how that nonsense goes. That It's all nonsense. <laughs> hey, come away from the edge so I'm safer when I kill you. Cause I'm one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break you. You? Listen, if I wasn't making this cut out, the other thing I was going to do today was work on a giraffe. Just get in front of me. Just get in front of me. And they're good. That, she was a scientist and a lady. Oh, here's that cowboy. I'm going to miss him. I got him. 544. I'm pretty sure that's a terrible time. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna do the giraffe with the with the VR goggles for uh, when we do Phasmo. Okay, so research. Uh, go to internet. Ooh, not that internet. Uh, I want to say F zero X cheats. Hey, GameFacts.GameSpot. Larger racers. Uh, no. Here we go. At the title screen. Press start to get to the mode select. That's here. I don't have all of these buttons equipped. You, you know what's going on. All right, hang on. I own a cartridge for this game. It's fine. That's what I'm saying. Um, let's right analog. Up and down. Is that not break? That might not be break. I don't know if there is a break then. Um, well, if that doesn't work anyway, then I'm going to make it this. That, that, no, that, that, that. 
Oh God, what is up? Up. Hey, cheats are harder to do when you're not using the the real thing. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> okay. That one, that one, that one. Seat up, which I'm going to make this one. Seat up. Seat down, which I currently don't have... Okay, see buttons mode. What does that actually do? You won't tell me. Okay, that's not going to be that. This is going to be C down. Um, C left, which I'm going to make this one. And then C right, which is... See up, see down, see left. All right, then it's just going to be this one. Yeah, that's fine. Um, R2. See right. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, let me go back. Here. Didn't go, did it? Okay, start here. Okay. I'll take it. Um. Good. Now let's do time attack. So I want to go to Joker Cup. Uh, yeah, we have time. We have time to do both then. Um, Rainbow Road. Let's, okay, we're going to do rainbow. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, so the blue falcon is Captain Falcon. Uh, golden fox is like Henry Hammerdinger. Dr. Stewart. That's right. Dr. Stewart. Wild goose by the angry turtle. Sorry, Pico. Fire seeing ray is Samurai Garou. Of course, we know that. Uh, White Cat, who is Lady Dr. Stewart, Jody Summer. I'm bad at this. Red Gazelle, that's, um, his name's Zero. Sorry, his name's Mighty Gazelle. <laughs> that guy really strikes you as a Mighty Gazelle, doesn't he? We're just doing this now, listen. Uh, Iron Tiger by, hmm, Baba. Okay, well, okay. Deep Claw, that's, that's Launch Octopus from Mega Man X. That's Octo that's Octo Man. Uh I guess this is before uh he um traded in the racer and became a dad. The expanded Octo Dad universe. Crazy Bear? That's Doctor Clash. Ooh. Uh Great Star with Mr. Eed. I don't... Oh, it's the Starman! It's the, the, the star power-up! I never noticed that before. The way he's built makes me feel uncomfortable. Um... Big Fang, Bio-Rex. What a treat this gentleman is. Gentlemen? Hmm, I guess I don't know. Mad Wolf, piloted by... Billy, one of the original Saiyans. Uh, here we go. Night Thunder. Uh, Silver Nielsen. <laughs> uh, the Twin Norita by Gomar and Shio. I love these two. These are these two are like the most Star Wars. They got this co-piloted racer, the only outrigger machine, the Wonder Wasp, piloted by. John Tanaka. Oh, you know John Tanaka? 
he looks like a space cop. Mm. All right, there's Queen Meteor. Uh, oh, the Queen Meteor is a ship, please. She's Mrs. Arrow. You're thinking of uh, Frankenstein's Meteor. Uh, we might as well go... The King Meteor is over here with Super Arrow. So I guess they're a husband and wife superhero team? That's cool. It's good to see, you know, families, couples getting out. It's good for couples to have hobbies together. Um, here's the Bloodhawk piloted by the Blood Falcon. Did you know there was an evil Negaverse Captain Falcon? <laughs> I probably knew that, but I forgot. Oh, this is good. Oh, is he like an alt color in Smash? I wonder. The Wario of F-Zero. The Astro Robin. Uh, by Jack Levin. I love how all of their names have individual font works done to them, right? It's just like, it's like, no, everybody's got a brand. This dude is, is, uh, the looks monster or looks like Red Bull branded. Um, he looks like the, the guy, the grown up version of the kid that you met at Christian camp. The one time you tried it out to make your mom happy. Um, here you go. The little wyvern. That's Jimmy. That's a Star Fox. Metal legs, sunglasses. It's basically an Arwen. Well, it's, you know, it's his dad, which means that Star Fox's mother must have just been a regular fox. Right? That's science, isn't it? Yeah, the pursuit of happiness. A uh, death anchor. Zoda! <laughs> huh? It does look like an anchor. I'll give it that. Wild boar? Uh, with Michael Chain. Oh, because he's got the chi- it's, it's nominative determinism in action, folks. Uh, the Super Piranha? With Kate Allen. Oh, good. Somebody who's just, like, kind of normal. Looks a little bit like an American gladiator, but I'll take it. I'll take it. The Mighty Hurricane? Uh, Roger Buster. He looks like he's going to steal one of the Double Dragons' his girlfriend. Was she both of their girlfriend? I only saw the movie once. Um, the Space Angler. There you go. Leon, the cat boy. I'm, I'm glad that we finally have this sorted. His name's Leon. Uh, he's, you know, he's like a rich kid because, like, you know, his grandfather was the lion from the MGM title card, you know, uh, Leo Lionheart. There's a literally a whole cartoon about it. I feel like I'm the only one who has it, and it was a fever dream I had when I was six, but this is my expanded canon now. So, okay, so what did I just put together? Okay, so... Star Fox? MGM? And what was the one I said before? Are all now part of the same expanded universe. Oh, who was... And Mega Man X, okay. And Dragon Ball Z, okay. I like where this is going. Okay. From that little icon? I just want to say, that dude does look a little bit like Bill Nye, don't you think? Like a young Bill Nye? Like a... Like before he was the science guy? Alright. The Mighty Typhoon with Drac... You know, a uh, famed member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I did say Guardians. I don't know what that's like a, it's a kind of bean, isn't it? The Hyperspeeder with the fourth Captain Falcon of this game, Beast Man. See, it's messed up that there's a guy named Beast Man when there's also a dude who's a cat and a dude who's a dinosaur also in this game. That's like, um, hmm... Uh, yeah, so you're Beekman right here, Mr. EAD. <laughs> Just look at that mustache. Beekman didn't have a mustache, I'm pretty sure. Ooh! Uh, Green Panther? Uh, and yeah, Antonio Guster. Yeah, no, you pulled it. 
I have no idea who this dude is. I love this game. I've played so many hours of the game. I have no idea who this dude is. This dude is like the least character in this game. Uh, oh, Black Bull is the machine. Black Shadow is the driver. That's my mistake, Mr. Shadow. I'd like to issue a formal apology. Uh, see you at the boat show. Dad bod Captain Falcon. Yeah, no. Uh, and then there's a Sonic Phantom piloted by the Skull. And I kind of like this one. Alright, throw it out there to the chat. Which one of these uh, monstrosities should I race as? I do like uh, Night Thunder. I do like the little Wyvern. Fire Stingray has been my go-to since the first of Zero, which is why I always use it. Which is why I... Well, I'm, I mean, I have to use it. I, I, built the, I built this car with my bare hands and a copy of Photoshop. Um, what track are we on? Rainbow Road. I'm going to go a little less max speed because I don't want to fly off and die. That's fair, you know? Variety is a spice of life. They don't have to be good. They just have to be enough of them that you forget all but your favorites, you know? It makes your favorites more special when it feels like you really picked them out of the, uh, you know, sifted it. No, I'm already dead. You can make a sandwich in the time it takes you to hit the ground. Your your favorites feel more special when there's a lot that you didn't pick. It's not like, um... Oh, boy. I'm trying to trying to make a reference but it's not gonna work uh dive kick does anybody know dive kick um you know who's your favorite dive or kick well it's gonna be one or the other so here we okay this is this is proper night driving now I really want to get my hands on a copy of the, the Edge Hero Track Editor that they put out for the DD or whatever. Um, uh, uh, Even though I guess that was only a Japanese release, so I would have no idea how to use it considering it's like a, a tool set. It's like an editor. I'm not going to use it. This is now a relaxed drive. I already died once 16 seconds into a lap, so... Keep forgetting I got the air brakes. You just hit them both. Is that brake? No. See, what I'll give it is that when you use the racing wheel, it gives you, like, the finest motor control over the, like, analog left-right. But in terms of, like, everything else on the controller and everything else that you might need to hit makes it harder some games just not built for it like listen i'll i'll find a copy of wipeout and i'll try playing that with the racing wheel but i will explode immediately ah, that's what makes it fun right i like exploding exploding's fun you get to burning Oh, that's not a relaxing drive at all. At these speeds? Oh, no. It's the only record. Don't, don't, don't sell me that. I know what's going on here. Wait, that's not right. Uh, 
That's better. Let's do one more, and then let's get where we're at. So I got to do big hand. Big hand. Still fucking me up. Big hand is the real rainbow road of this game. No, he's in the background, but it's hard to tell because he's all fuzzy. Okay, that's ice. That's the worst. It's not even loop to loops. It's just flat. Like honestly, that's what makes it harder, right? Because if it was like, like leaned into the curves, that would actually make the path you take technically straighter, because the ground forces you up into the curve, and you don't need to steer. Um... I got faster and faster. My entire everything across the middle of my chest is just so tense right now. Oh. Oh, God. I need somebody to come in, like, spray me with a hose while I sit in the cockpit. Oh. So, okay, I won't lie. 
all of this set up. Uh, no, you don't. You don't have to hand it to me. Thank you, but don't. Ha give me a minute. I have not recovered from the race, please. Um. Uh, if you know anything about racing, um, you've probably heard of the 24 Hour of Le Mans, uh, which uh, is a 24 hour race, teams of drivers um, basically, like, almost not so much like times, but just like who can complete the most laps in a 24 hour period. Um, so that's a matter of endurance, it's a matter of pit stops, it's a matter of, you know, trading off drivers, it's a matter of, you know, if you need to stop and refuel and do repairs, like, you know, if you crash, there's a whole day of racing so you can still repair and get in, and if somebody else crashes, you might pass them if you fix faster. Um, and my thought is, like, maybe as a charity stream or something, what if I did... The 24 hours of Grande Main, which I am to understand is French for Big Hand. Um, Grand, Ma Grand Man? I, I, I don't speak French. I don't even listen to French. Um, it's just same thing. 24 hours, this track, team of drivers, and just like... How many laps can we complete? How many sets of three laps can we complete? How many... Which means that, you know... Man, even by sets of three... Because that means, like, if you make it three laps in... Or two and a half laps in and then fall off... You actually roll back two laps. Oh. I have a thing. It was on my desk until I cleaned up. Which means now I have no idea where it is. But I have one of those little, um, like... Uh, census clicker things so you just you complete a lap you hit the clicker um that is just desert bus thank you for picking up on that i enjoy desert bus but i don't want to do desert bus i want to do my own spin on it i figure i'm going to do it either in bmng or in this one day um but yeah i had to see how good or bad big hand was to actually drive on and wow that is super tense i don't i would start first with like the two hours of big hand which I almost did tonight. I'm glad we made this more of a variety thing. Um, actually, it's funny you mentioned Desert Bus because Loading Ready Runs, the ones who put that on. One of their team members uh, does a yearly 24 hours of Lurmond, Loading Ready Run, LRR, Lur, um, where in Assetto Corsa, they do exactly that. They go to Le Mans, they race it for a dozen hours, they get other members of the team to come in and switch off with them. Uh, <clears throat> and I want in on that action. I think it'd be fun. I. It'd be fun for me. I, I don't know how many people would be would think it's fun. I don't know if people would think it's fun to watch. I don't know if, you know, any of my watchers, friends would think that it was... I have one friend who I think would find it fun to do with me. Um, beyond that, uh, I don't know. So, but it's an idea I'm playing with and doing all of this setup tonight to racing wheel, big hand, and just, just freshen my memory on that. Get that taste back on my lips. Um, I missed the sand and the concrete floors. Uh, this was all, this is all a big ruse just to have this happen. Um, a big ruse, because that's also a French word I know. Hey, it's after 11. Uh, I started early so that we could end at midnight tonight. Um, I'm going to take a five-minute break, grab some water, grab some whatever, and then come back and we'll do some uh, BMG. How does that sound? Great? Good. Because I'm saying it is. Uh, well, hey there, folks. Thank you for sticking with me this far into Late Night Drive. We'll be back in just a minute. Don't forget to hydrate and take care of one another. I took away my break cam. Uh, we'll be back. 